Well, we have part three of the um, Golden Voyage to the Is. See, get my place. Okay. Now, we're uh, on the uh, solar vessel or the uh, vessel to the Is. And so the captain of the vessel must have been Dwayne. And he did indeed have that being isness sense about him, the, that inimical trait of all sincere and aware beings that can't be duplicated by sneaky controllers. Seems then that assuming the form of a robot demonstrated my switching a little to my personal self in light of the situation in an oncoming wave. The robot bodies demonstrating rigidity of self-convinced created consciousness. When peoples assume such body types in the lifetimes to come, it is a reflection of their rigid, unwavering personal self as they become ever more constricted, self-absorbed, and fossilized in their contentions of what they think life is. The body types they assume will mirror this, a consequence of the agreement to such restricting and limiting ideas, cause and effect, having them experience these robot bodies in far more mechanized and restricted life circumstances. Everyone will have their personal created self, and it will be a bother and burden until we need the vehicles no longer when our process is complete. But until then, it will interject and intercede if we allow it, and it's apparent when it is as when we are fully standing real and connected to our real selves, we simply be and see, and there is nothing added on top. Any fears, concerns, worries, considerations, questions, indicate the presence of that pesky personal self. <clears throat> so the demonstration was along these lines. I had concerns about Captain Dwayne's decision to steer into the wave, whereas my personal self came to bear my recognition diminished, and I was viewing things through the literal filters of my personal self. I saw a wave. It was big, scary. Let's go this way instead, Captain. And the robot body demonstrated my slipping into my personal and more rigid self. Ha ha. But enough of my real self was there too. I stood real with Duane and into the waves we went. Evidently, this was the new wave is, the is surging through creation and carrying with it the opportunity to supersede the simulator. Duane bringing forth this super knowledge for anyone who cares to pay attention. The new wave was in evidence then for all to see, but only for a small window. And this demonstrated here as we sail toward it. At this point then, it's very conceivable. The window was closing and people not paying attention would quite literally miss the boat. Time's up. Those having decided to be a part were on fine and on board. And we sailed into the mighty new wave which became a kind of golden gateway, as was my impression of it. I, a short postscript, I uh, noticed some people on the road today wearing masks, which surprised me, and uh, people walking also. And I go, uh, you know, is there something, you know, here? Well, they still think so, or, but I really think it's about the dust. And uh, but also by doing that, they're cutting themselves off from the real opportunity, we, we could say, um, uh, in this same representation. Uh, continuing the story. Um, enough of my real self was there, too. The new wave was in evidence. And now it's time's up. Those having decided to be part were fine on, on, and on board, and we sailed into the mighty new wave, which became a kind of golden gateway, as was my impression of it. We may have landed then in the higher position in creation, and the golden gate prior to that represented the chance for those with the recognition 
to jump right into the real universes of the is. Those perhaps lacking the recognition at this moment miss the golden gate. They could only be passed through with recognition, but nevertheless assumed a position higher in the creational life levels where they could proceed with their awareness process. And I was amongst those having missed the gate of the is, but was beyond the lower imploding life levels nonetheless, and demonstrated by my being still in my robot form, maybe tap line free that allowed the voyage to this position, but maybe lacking the recognition to be with the is for now. And uh, comment, uh, that's quite a mouthful all the way through that paragraph and uh, quite an awareness to be aware of both at the same time. I think that's a somewhat of a concurrent example that um, a number of us are experiencing that. Um, a multidimensional view, I guess we'd say. And then another demonstration, Dwayne did engage with an individual on this life level. Maybe this individual was representing the oppos oppositional force of the majority of humanity. A final ditch effort to get their attention, but they still weren't listening, still resisting Dwayne and what he was trying to bring through. So here, Dwayne engaged the unaware, but didn't battle or fight them, letting them decide whatever they wanted, but still presenting the is. As I knew, Dwayne allowed this individual to best him, for if we fight with others and impose our will on them, this then is an infringement on their free will, a control, and we are drawn into cause and effect, and we are no longer standing real with the is. I concur and would say I have an experience of uh, when I start to get arguments with family or whoever, people I know, and yes, immediately dragged into it and I lose what I call my solar awareness, what I call it, and uh, or my ability to access it at the, at the communication point. So, uh, yeah, everything in creation being ideas, we don't return fire or start creating ideas in response. We present, step around the ideas, stand real, and supersede creation. And if others choose not to, in creation they remain. And here Dwayne faded away from sight. He was off on his journey now further into the is. The one beside me stated, and I guess I should reoccur that this is uh, Kevin Smith's uh, writing, uh, and saying, the one beside me stated how he could see Duane and so may have been a universal guide. From this position, even though higher in creation, I could see Duane no more. He had completed his assignment and his creational life level vehicles, including this one, were of no further use to him and were no more. They faded away. He was off into the is. And some new friends had gone straight into the real universes of the is too. Others like me were here and could still continue with the process and join them later. But best not to linger too long. As creation was imploding and that would include all life levels. Bouncing about in my little robot vehicle still. I found a veil and peeked through and investigated this reset earth beyond. For yes, I had the impression this was representing the reset of the simulator. The epoch having gone through its final cause and effect decided upon demise, imploded, and here was the reconstituted simulator, a new golden age. If I had still been on that creational life level, high as it was, it was still a part of the simulator and would have been destroyed too. And I would be caught in the reset if I hadn't completed the process of awareness and recognition. 
So I was either in the real universes and taking a peek at the new reform simulator or simply being afforded this final viewpoint at the end of this dream. I saw no peoples now, just lush vegetation and animals. Individuals then in stages of rudimentary body forms and vehicles before free will kicks in is utilized and everything goes along agreed to cause and effect uh, routes of experience again. The affect, uh, or maybe just a confirmation of how when individuals are reset in the golden age, so too is their created consciousness, as their vehicles and life levels are gone with the previous imploded simulator. Starting from point zero, with no consciousness created as yet, um, I'm backing up just a second, I'm right at the end. There is a capital S printed in this letter uh, after the word simulator. I'm going, okay, the simulator is a big thing, a big capital S. <laughs> and Dwayne is capitalized as capital D. Real is capitalized as real, as an R. And universe is capital U. And the is capital I-S-S-S, -S -S. pronunciations or emphasis. Okay, so at the end, starting from point zero then, with no consciousness created as yet, ideas agreed to, emotional attachments, routines, habits or charged emotional ideas to draw from the causal body. Demonstrated by the animals that I determined should act in this way or that, maybe aggressively, but that only had just a clean and pure acquisitiveness. Attitudes and ways of being you would only expect from individuals with a consciousness still in its rudimentary stages of being created and put together. And that is part three completed. But we really did have three separate parts. I was lucky enough to be able to discern between the paragraphs and such that there were these three separate uh, options, let's say, of uh, opportunity of awareness here, the beginning, middle and end, etc., and all the others. I've noticed a lot with the threes everywhere I go. There's always a set of threes and um, or whatever that's worth in the creation world. Um, and for our experience of recognition. Now, Dwayne's view is reported at the end of the these, uh, this story, The Chronicles of the Cosmic Space Case by Kevin Smith. And Dwayne's view, this is what is actually taking place. And yes, it is a recognition, and very few will see it. There's more to this, the surprise that's coming, but you're seeing it being prepared and you'll be fine. It's a real preparation for what is coming, what is taking place on the real side and will become evident. People have to pay attention. We're trying to let the world know the best we can, but huge resistance with consciousness and people are so layered by so much deformity, misinformation, plus all the havoc that's going on with the fires and the chemtrails. Everything that's going on, they are poisoning this planet as fast as they can. Those that step up and have the courage, it's a big journey to get through the personal self, but you're seeing it. It's coming, and all of a sudden, like the scene in Terminator where the girl is at the chain link fence and she sees this lady with her child on a swing and trying to warn her, and all of a sudden the atom bomb goes off. That's how fast it will happen, and people will panic. We have a wonderful surprise for people coming up that we've been working on on the real side for a long time, but you've got to see it and want to see it. Each person decides their life, and this is an opportunity like never before, because all those political, religious, spiritual, scientific paths that people have been through and have to deal with here, um, I might add the word business there, um, they have nothing to do with the whole of life. All these paths and ideas are in cause and effect creation, 
And if you don't wake up more so than just this personal self, you've got to deal with it. That is how it get real it gets, just like this world is totally poisoned. You think in your mind, everything's fine. You're still breathing and walking around for a few more moments, but that's all you got. You've only got a few moments and then it's coming, going, come at the moment when you're not. And you're going to wonder where you are. So again, I suggest pay attention to where and who, what you really are. You do you. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. That was a good. That was good. Thank you.